You're right, it's drying out. Do you think we should take it down? Well, we could, but then we'd have this empty spot right in the middle of the room. Wouldn't want that. No. <sighs> well, I guess we can add more water and leave it up and see how it does. For how long? Mm, till August. Don't you think that might be pushing a little? Okay, okay. June. <laughs> I wish there's a way we can save it forever. You know, put it in a scrapbook or up on a shelf somewhere. This is our first tree. I'll always remember what it meant to us. Me too. You know, that's the thing about holidays. You always remember who you're with and what you were doing. That's not a hint, is it? For what? Well, it's New Year's Eve and we don't have plans yet. This is our first New Year's together. To me, that makes it special enough. You got plans tonight? Uh, well, no. You do now. Uh, no, you see, we, we do have plans to stay in and do nothing. Mm. New Year's Eve? The most exciting day of the year? Absolutely. Oh. Well, your plans have just changed because I have a much better idea. We can at least listen to what he has in mind. You're not gonna shut up anyway, are you? Nope. All right, you have the floor. Well, I want to wait for Emily to get here cause, so I can tell you all together. Don't you have that, that charity auction with, you know, Catherine Bell? Yes, but not the entire night. Come on, it's New Year's Eve. Friends are supposed to be together, right? Oh, come on, Nicholas, just tell us. Trust me, it'll be worth the wait, okay? Okay, well then, I'm gonna call Emily and see if she's left. Go. Oh. Something going on I should know about. I need a favor from you. What? It'd be right if I stay here for a while. Yeah, I was wondering if Emily had left yet. Can't be now. Here can't be your idea of vacation. No. Then what's up? There's just some things going on with my family right now. I live in a windmere, I just can't be there. Well, I definitely know how that feels. Um, whatever's going on, does that, does it involve my family? No, I'd rather not get into it right now. That's okay with you. Sure. I have to ask, though, why not just get a suite at the Port Charles Hotel? I prefer to be unreachable. I don't have a cot here. I mean, it's the floor of the tub. Listen, if you don't want me to be here, then all you gotta do is say that. I know. Well, Emily should be here any minute. Oh, busy night. <sighs> Hello? Lucky, this is Stefan Cassadine. Mr. Cassadine? I was wondering if you've seen Nicholas. Nicholas? No, afraid not. Uh... Anything you want me to tell him if I do? No. Sorry to disturb you. Bye. Bought you some time anyway. Thanks. Is something going on? Um, Nicholas is uh, going to be staying here for a while. What happened? Mm, it's, it's complicated. I don't know. Really... Hey, you want to go get your stuff at home? Uh, did somebody leave these outside? Yeah, that, that's <laughs> mine. Okay. Guess you figured I was uh, a lock for saying yes. I was hoping pretty hard, yeah. Why do I feel that uh, something has changed since the last time I saw you? Nicholas is moving in with Lucky. Really? For good? No. no. Oh, well, how come? <sighs> Things at home are just they're becoming uncomfortable for me, so... I... Came here. Oh, I completely understand. Is that why you asked me to come over? Well, not exactly. Actually, Nicholas has a secret plan for New Year's Eve. Really? Do you tell. Y'all know I've been working uh, with the charity bachelor auction benefiting the Stone Kate Swings at Journal Hospital, right? Mm-hmm. And it's tonight, and I thought it would be fun if we all went together. And I've already put in donations for Elizabeth and Emily so you can bid on the bachelors. You're kidding. 
Your big plan for New Year's Eve is, is for Elizabeth to spend it with someone other than me? <laughs> it could be you. I mean, I put us both on the auction block. And besides, it's only for dinner. We still have time to hook up for midnight. <sighs> well, count me in. <laughs> What do you want for this? Well, I guess I'd be interested. I mean, if you were there too, of course. Yeah, but I mean, what if we get stuck with awful people, you know? We could laugh about it later and know we were helping people who needed it. Okay. Let's do it. All right. Cool. All right, I'm gonna go get dressed. Yeah, I'll pick you up in uh, 45 minutes. Uh, better give me one hour. I better get going too. Thank you. No sweat. Bye. So I, I guess this means I'm gonna be needing a tuxedo. That's right. Well, I guess there's one thing you didn't think of because I don't have a tux. Actually, I uh, did have that thought. <laughs> well, think again. There's no way I'm letting you rent me a tux. Uh -uh. Here's your bill. Cash only, no checks, please. Hi. What? You look incredible. Hmm. Well, you're not looking too bad yourself. So you excited? Very. Yeah. Even though we might wind up spending New Year's Eve with different uh, people. It'll never happen. Elizabeth, it's a blind auction. No one knows who they're gonna get. I mean, we could wind up with the dates from hell. Anyone ever tell you you worry too much? Are you uh, ready to tell me how I'm not gonna get stuck with someone else tonight? I can't. Why not? Because I haven't figured out how to do it yet. But I will. Well, it's only dinner anyway, right? <laughs> wow, that is an awesome dress. Oh, yours too. Thanks. So tell me, what do you think the odds are going to be that we're going to end up with each other tonight? Slim. None. Have a little faith. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the General Hospital Bachelor Auction to benefit the Stone Cates Memorial AIDS Wing. You all look magnificent tonight, and I would like to personally thank each one of you for participating in what I expect to be an exciting evening. It took a great deal of time and effort to put this benefit together. So before we go a moment further, I would like to recognize someone. Someone who did more than anyone to ensure the success of this event. And I would have personally been lost without. My co-chair in this event, Mr. Nicholas Cassadine. Of course, no bachelor auction could be a success without bachelors. Ladies, the gentlemen that we have gathered here tonight are the best that Port Charles has to offer. And I know you all want to get a good look at them. So, bachelors, when I call your name, please join me here on stage. Edward Quartermain, not officially a bachelor, but on loan from his wife this evening. AJ Quartermain, Ned Ashton, Justice Ward, Jasper Jacks, Jerry Jacks, Marcus Taggart, Nicholas Cassadine, Lucky Spencer. Reginald Jennings and Dr. Anthony Jones. Yes. Now, let me briefly explain how this is going to work. This drum contains the name of each one of our bachelors. When one of our female bidder's name is called, I will draw a name, and the rest is up to all of you. Just remember that tonight is New Year's Eve, so no resolutions need to be made until tomorrow. I wish you all the bachelor of your dreams, and who knows, tonight might change your life.